Welcome back. Stoff eggplant. You heard me. Stoff eggplant. And this one I prepare with ground meat. It's going to be Mediterranean style. Now, you can also use chicken if you cut it in tiny pieces, like chicken breast. You know, cutting tiny pieces, you can do that too, but I went with the ground meat. And the good thing about this is I'm using turmeric. And this one I prepared from scratch a little while ago. And I'm going to put that in my description, by the way, the link of how to do the turmeric. But the thing about turmeric is that this is like a miracle ingredient, a miracle spice. You know, if you suffer of whatever, stomach issues or inflammation in your body, of whatever, this is truly, truly a great ingredient. And I'm using this today. And this stuff is going to turn delicious Mediterranean style. Egg, stuff, eggplant Mediterranean style. So, go nowhere. Let's create. So here are my ingredients. Uh, I have some ground beef. You can actually use some uh, small pieces of chicken too, cut in tiny pieces. I'm going to have uh, the eggplant. I have some Italian parsley I'm going to chop. I'm just going to use a, a little bit of this. Um, I do have ground paprika, a sweet pepper. I went with red. Thyme, oregano, I'm going to use just a little bit. I'm going to mince them. I have a four teeth of garlic, which I'm going to mince. And I have a half an onion. I'm going to probably use a quarter, cut in tiny pieces. Turmeric, turmeric. This is good for inflammation. And actually, this one I prepare from the actual root. And I do have a link in my description to sh that show you how to do that as well as how to create tea with this. Parmesan cheese extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, and some uh, black ground pepper. And I think that's it. So what you're going to do here, you're going to cut this in half, but you're going to start by cutting the end. You can cut the front, but I'm going to try something here. I'm going to see if I can have a perfect uh, cut in the middle just to make it look pretty, more so than anything else. Start building some sort of canoe. By taking the stuff out. Don't throw it away because you're going to need it when you start cooking the meat. And that's it, you know, you start making a canoe. High heat, let's start with the extra virgin olive oil and go in Italian. I'm going to add some onions. I'm going to follow with sweet pepper. Move them around, move them around. Thyme and oregano. Some garlic. I don't want the garlic burn, so I'm going to do this like for uh, maybe 30 seconds before I turn the heat to medium. I'm 
going to add some turmeric. About half a teaspoon. Ooh, this is smelling good. This is a sort of sofrito. Actually, you can call it sofrito. And I'm going to add some um, smoked paprika. This is a medium. Then I'm going to grab the ground meat. I'm going to start adding it. So I'm mixing everything together. This, this is the stomach, you know, when I was making the, kind of the canoe, when I was making the canoe, I was coating the uh, eggplant. I'm not going to throw that stuff away. Instead, I mince it. I'm going to add it here because, I mean, what is the point of buying an eggplant if you're not going to eat it? You continue mixing stuff up. Little bit of sea salt. Just for taste. Once again, you don't want this meat to fry. You just want to cook. So you monitor this. And then you add Italian parsley. So this is a Mediterranean touch for, you know, Italian olive oil, Italian parsley. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit more of this. Permit. This is good for people that suffer inflammation. This is actually the most medicinal um, spice out there by far, in my opinion. Permit. Permit. I'm probably uh, pronouncing that word. Then you start doing your magic. You start listening to the music. The music play the kitchen. I don't want to waste this farm so. We can include the music. And I'd say you let it cool for maybe three minutes more. I'm going to lower the heat to medium low. I'm going to let it cook for like three minutes. And the reason I do this is because I want the pieces of meat to be small so I can fit it inside this canoe. Want this thing to be juicy, nice.
Um, I'm going to add some olive oil inside these canoes that I created earlier before I stuff them. And the reason is simple. You don't have to love, by the way, just a little bit. I don't want them to dry. And I'm going to put some in the sides too. See how pretty that stuff looks. And I have to wash this when I'm cooking it because I'm, you know, I want to make sure it doesn't burn either. It is, so I use this to, to put some of that oil. So it's, start, it's time to start filling up these babies. Once you fill them up, what you're going to do, you're going to add, you're going to squeeze them a little bit, some Parmesan cheese. I'm not a big fan of eating cheese with hot food. I really not. In fact, I don't like, uh, when I eat Mexican food, I eat it without cheese. I just like the Caribbean style of the Mexican area when I eat Mexican food. You gotta even start cooking. Now you start adding your uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm not going to put a whole lot. And you notice I'm not using powders, I'm using the grated style. You could have easy bought, I could have easy bought uh, the actual cheese and grated. But I found one already grated, so I decided to use it because it's exactly the same. It's not different between this and the regular cheese. See how pretty they're looking? They're looking very pretty. Let me add a little bit more. So I'm not going to mess around too much. I'm going to go with one of my cast iron. And this is a large, this is a high quality one, had it for years now. I'm going to put some aluminum foil, a little bit of oil, extra virgin in my case. And I'm going to put the things here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to transfer them to the oven. So I have the oven at 375 degrees and I think I'm going to cook this for like 20 30 minutes. Let me put it up here. Mm, nice. Huh? Top crusty or delicious. <laughs> 